everything we do together. From the food we eat to the water we drink, we all rely on rivers and restoring them to natural, healthy, functioning ecosystems benefits everybody. The principle of the ARC project is integrated water resource management and that means bringing together all the different aspects that make a healthy, functioning ecosystem into one project. We attempt to move the river towards the natural state whilst bearing in mind all the needs that society has for the river itself. And the groups that we engage with are landowners, farmers, fishermen, water companies, tourism boards that all have an interest in the river. One of the most important ways we can restore rivers is to remove barriers. Typically these are weirs which are no longer needed and these weirs actually prevent both migrating fish such as salmon and sea trout but, uh, and eels, but also coarse fish that can't move between different parts of the river. The inspiration for the art project was a project carried out many years ago called the ASAP project. And rather than the sea trout focus of the art project, it was actually focused on salmon. And for that project, we took DNA from salmon and identified the different populations that lived in different rivers across Europe. And then we could use that information to catch a salmon at sea and trace it back to the river that it came from. Salmon sea trout are iconic fish for all of uh, Western Europe and Northwestern Europe in particular. They have migrated on great oceanic journeys to get from our little rivers and streams and come back to spawn here. Anglers are important because they're one of the most engaged groups that use the river. They're always there, they're always on the lookout. And they get a, a good view as to what a healthy river is and why it might benefit them to have a good healthy river so there are some fish there to catch. We've got a great system called the scale pack and uh, when an angler catches a fish they simply remove a, a few scales from the side uh, before they release it um, or keep the fish and uh, these scales can then be used for a whole range of different information, everything from DNA to assessing the age of the fish. So the hatchery at Ensley is there to address a specific problem, and that problem is siltation in the upper reaches of the Tamar. Uh, there's large amounts of silt going in and sediment going into our river uh, up there, and it actually cements down the gravel where the salmon go to spawn. So as you can imagine, for a fish that needs good, clean, oxygenated water, that's a real problem. There are certain circumstances when you wouldn't run a hatchery if you've got particular populations you wish to preserve, or if the river is functioning well and doesn't need a hatchery, then you wouldn't choose to run one. In general terms, you need a specific reason to run a hatchery and it needs to solve a specific problem. In the art project we'll be dealing with education at several different levels, from the school level where we help children to understand why rivers are important and what they mean to them, all the way up to developing a master's course in integrated water resource management which will help train the next generation of water managers across Europe. 